welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a video with my two-year-old Philly Brandy. I've been actually trying to film this video for the longest time, but I knew that I had to set aside a couple hours to get it done and I've been so busy, but I was finally able to film it today. It was Brandy's first time having someone mess with her tail or brush it or anything, and she did really good. Brandy has really fine hair, but she has a lot of it, so it gets tangled up so easily. Every time I bring her out of the pasture, I know I already have to brush out her mane because she always has the dreadlocks. Uh, she always has them on her mane. I'm already accustomed to spending a couple minutes before tacking up brushing those out But when it comes to her tail, I don't really mess with my horse's tails too much I kind of just leave them alone unless I notice big mats like I did with Brandy But besides that I only brush them out when I give them a bath What I'm gonna use to brush out Brandy's mane and tail are just two items The first one is this brush. This is just one from Oster You can use any brush that you have but this is just the one I use and along with that, I used Cowboy Magic. I honestly swear by this. This stuff is amazing. It's seriously magic. It helped out so much with Brandy's mane and tail. They do sell a bigger size. But yeah, this is the Cowboy Magic Detangler and Shine. Detangles hair instantly. It says, smells good too. Makes hair easy to brush and comb. Deep conditioning detangler restores moisture. No buildup. Leaves hair with a silky looking shine. It's concentrated. Contains no water or alcohol. Ideal for all hair types. Allergy tested and dermatologist approved. It worked amazing for me. If you guys have huge knots in your horse's manes or tails like I did, maybe you should look into getting Cowboy Magic because it's really good. I've heard about this before but I didn't really think too much about it because I don't really like products that I have to squeeze into my hand. So whenever I would go to any feed stores or tack stores or anything, I would look for detanglers that were sprayable. When I'm around my horses, I really don't like putting products in my hands just because you're around horse hair and dust and stuff like that. And If you don't have a sink or bathroom in your barn, it's kind of uncomfortable to walk around with your hands greasy from whatever product you used but this stuff I don't know what it's made out of but it's not greasy it's not oily like you use it and you apply it on your horse's mane and I noticed that a couple minutes later it would just dry so my hands were just dry again they weren't greasy or oily or creamy or anything like that so I'm totally gonna buy the bigger size of this and keep it in my tack room because this stuff is awesome so this is me attempting to untangle her mane and tail hopefully you guys enjoy the video maybe I'll motivate you to get started on your horse's tails as well <laughs> Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. Alright you guys, so I don't know how well you can see, but she has these matted pieces. They're all just tangled up. It looks like dreadlocks. She has a couple of them because I haven't really brushed her mane out in a while. So the best tool I like to use to untangle these are my fingers. I just like to follow the knots and kind of unravel it with my fingers. That's just the easiest way. So I just kind of look at it really closely, follow the tangle until I get most of it unraveled. But once I get most of it unraveled, that's when I start with my brushing and stuff. Don't get frustrated, this does take a lot of time, so just be patient. It does take a little while, but you'll get it done, I promise. Once you get a couple of them out, it'll start unraveling itself pretty easy. You just follow the knot. I find that if you try to just brush it out, you create more knots and it's a lot harder. So doing it with your fingers first is one of the easiest ways I've found to do this. As you can see, it's slowly starting to separate. These two were tied together and then now I'm slowly separating them. You can start to see the pattern of how it got tangled in the first place. Just do the same pattern the opposite direction. So that's what I'm doing here. It looks like it just kind of twisted itself. You can try from the top and start doing it that way. You see how easily that's starting to come off. I don't know how well I'm focusing. I'm, I'm filming this on my own so I'm trying to get as much of it as I can. Seriously, patience is absolutely needed in this process. If you're running short on time or you're doing this before a show or something, it's gonna be like a mess and you're gonna get frustrated and it's gonna take a lot longer. So just try to do this maybe the day before a show or when you just don't feel like riding one day and you're just going to the barn, give your horse some hay and spend a couple hours. <laughs> Moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and get my cowboy magic. Pour a little like dime size on your hand. And now I'm gonna just apply some on all the little strands I've untangled. Now I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm gonna start from the ends of the hair, making my way up. So that is what her mane is looking like now. There's still some crinkled up pieces, but 
kind of straighten out on their own. But yeah, I got all the knots out. Good girl. All right, you guys, she has a huge mat right here. This whole thing is matted together. It's just like a big nest. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing any pieces of grass or branches that I find in her tail. So now I'm going to apply a generous amount of cowboy magic. This is seriously a whole nest. I don't know if you guys can see how bad that is, but I'm gonna see if I can get this done. I really don't wanna have to cut it. I'm gonna do everything I can to untangle it. Uh, and not cut it. I'm applying a generous amount of cowboy magic and I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna let it soak into the tail and I'm gonna apply some more. Put it all behind here. So right now, while I let it sit, I'm going to try and separate this big chunk into as many pieces as I can. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. I don't want her to have a bad experience having me back here. So I'm trying to be as gentle as I can be. A quick tip, if your horses are constantly moving when you're behind their tail, do not let it go until they stop moving. If you let it go as soon as they take a step, then that's teaching them that, oh, okay, if I move, then she stops. You know, so you want to teach them no. If I stand still, it's easier, there's less hassle, and she'll stop. So right now, I'm just doing this, and the second that she moves, I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to follow her until she stops moving, and then I'll let her go and say good girl. I also want to give her some breaks, you know, if I'm back here for a long time, it's kind of uncomfortable for her. I'll try and give her some breaks, make it a little bearable, because it is really matted back here, so I'm guessing it's probably very uncomfortable. So I grabbed a strand, I started detangling it from the bottom, and then I made my way up. As I made my way up, I went ahead and grabbed a little bit more hair and added it to my pile, detangled that one. So I'll just keep doing that throughout her whole mane to try and detangle as much as possible. I like to use her butt to push my comb against. Just make sure your horse is okay with that. If you're having trouble, then just forget about your piece and start on the next one. So I'll just grab this down here and I'm gonna start from the bottom and make my way up. I like to use my thigh and lean it against my thigh. Always start from the bottom and make your way up. I like to hold it pretty tight above the area that I'm combing just so that when I pull, I kind of stop it a little bit just so that it doesn't hurt her too much. And again, like I said about the main patience, do this on a day that you're not in a hurry because it does take a while. Yay, we're finally getting somewhere. You can also use your fingers in between to make it a little easier. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to her tailbone. I'm gonna add some cowboy magic, rub it in between my fingers, and apply it by her tailbone, underneath her bone, on the sides. I'm gonna use my fingers, run it through her tail to find any more knots that I might need to detangle. So far, I think I've done most of it. I'm gonna separate it and make sure I got the center of the tail. Good girl. Look at that tail. Nice and luscious and long. All right, we are officially done. Her tail, it's finally tangle free. I don't know if you guys can see it. And it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. And her mane, she has these little crinkles from the knot, but they'll go away. And that's it. Why are you so cute? All right, you guys, that's it for my video. Hopefully it helped you out a little bit. If you weren't sure how to go about brushing your horse's tail, if you have a big mat like the one I had, hopefully it helped you out a little bit. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with whoever you think might enjoy it. I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for my 1,000 subscriber mark. Please leave a comment letting me know if you guys are interested in that. I'm actually pretty excited about doing it. Let me know if you are too. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!